with a shark bait has such teeth in it. Oh, no. Cheek to cheek, now mama dance. Well, enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's been a week since I filmed last and since then I have made my dress in final fabric, my first outfit and I've also done, I feel like I've done something else, oh I twirled something else, oh I twirled a coat, that was it, I twirled the coat that's behind me right now um, which I'm now about to make. Um, so today is Saturday and I had my tutorial yesterday and it basically confirmed that I have a lot to get done this week. So today I'm going to try and get trouser, top and coat roughly made. Um, do sketchbook work tomorrow, I've got to finish my portfolio pages on Monday, finish making garments on Monday and then twirl for the rest of the time I have before my tutorial on Thursday. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it'll be okay. I can get it done if I just focus and don't take too many cake breaks. So yeah, that is my plan for today. I'm basically just gonna be sat here sewing. Last night I cut everything out, um, and it's all in that bag. So I've got all my pattern pieces in here. Got my top, my trousers, and then the coat is at the bottom so all ready to go and I even did the piping last night so I have no excuses <laughs> so I've got my twirls hanging up these are the things I'm making I've got my flared trousers and then I've made this coat the other day um, that's going to be made up too and then this little top which isn't done up properly but that is also being made today <laughs> We're one top down, and now I'm gonna work on the trousers. I think that'll probably have to be where I stop today. I also realized, I don't know why this looks like a completely different color to this side. I don't get that. But yeah, one top done. Morning guys, so it's Monday now. Over the weekend, I finished my top and trousers. And I've, last night I pieced together my jacket, but I need to go into uni this morning and overlock some seams because my overlocker broke. I stupidly put too many seams into it and it went and stopped working. <laughs> but I quickly want to show you something really exciting that has literally just arrived and I just don't get what I have done to deserve this. <laughs> so it's from the brand called Boda Skins. It came in a big box. And then in this massive silver packaging, and this is jacket. How stunning is this? The jacket came in this little bag as well, which is really great. Um, oh my gosh, it's a backpack! Whoa! I've already got thread on it, literally. If you come into my room, you will just be attacked by thread. It tells you how to care for your leather jacket. And then there's a returns policy thing if you want to return it. I don't want to return it. <laughs> and then I had a really sweet little message 
come with it as well so this is like the best monday morning ever i'm so excited to wear this you guys know i literally live in my pull and bear aviator jacket and now i've got like the real deal this is what it looks like on what i love the double collar i think that's so cool oh my god look what i've just found inside oh my god what so my jacket's in the uk small but oh my gosh thank you so much bow skin this is just it's made my day and it'll probably have made my week so <laughs> thank you so much on the topic of making i finished my top and trousers and i'll show you quickly what they look like so they look a bit better on because they're both kind of form fitting but I showed you the top quickly I think and then these are the flares that go with them matchy matching um, maybe tonight I'll try everything on when I've made the coat and you guys can see what it looks like but for the coat I was going to do this sort of embroidery but I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that for Thursday all over the jacket probably space it out a lot more than this so right now I'm just gonna go through my sketchbook and see if there's like any more pages where I can add a quick illustration before I go in because I'm taking pictures to put in our portfolio we have to have 10 pages of portfolio that they're putting in like the advertising magazine for our uni and it's just I feel like it's too soon <laughs> Morning guys, I'm just about to go off into uni. Last night I pattern cut another outfit and cut it out in fabric and now I'm gonna go in and sew because the machine's so quick in there and um, hopefully I'll get those two done reasonably quickly. I don't know. So yeah, doing that and then this evening we have, it's Mel's birthday tomorrow, one of my flatmates and we're doing like a movie evening so I'm gonna take a little bit of time out chill so this is my outfit for today i have got on this um leather jacket which i picked up on depop for like 20 pounds and then this arizona sweatshirt from pull and bear got a little h&m belt on and then my zara cargo trousers i finished my coat and the whole other outfit the other day i can't remember if i showed you it probably not but hopefully I'll show you in this video I'm going off into uni now so I will catch up with you guys in a bit
I'm off to London today, it's Friday, and I'm going to get fabrics. Yesterday I messaged the fabric shop where I need to get my specific fabric from and they don't do it anymore and and I feel like old me would have had a real big breakdown about that but I was fine. I'm just gonna have to find another fabric. <laughs> this is my little outfit today. I've just got on a little Brandy Melville top with a vest underneath in case it gets super hot. And then these cropped cord trousers from H&M and then just some like little trainers. And then for a jacket I'm wearing this one from All Saints that I got in Vista Village last year. And that's what that one looks like on. I need to put my fabrics together so that I know the colours if I find something else I like um, that it matches <laughs> with the fabrics I already have because that would be really sad if it didn't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head off. The next day I got my new fabric in London. I shall show you. So this is the fabric I picked up in the end and I've decided I'm going to contrast with this as the piping. That is what's now going underneath this coat um, which my tutor wants me to change out this fabric which is okay that won't take too long I've literally just chucked some clothes on <laughs> and I'm gonna run and get a zip to go with that fabric so I can just make the dress so this is what it's gonna look like um, I'm gonna change the back I think because it's at the moment it's like um, open back might try it on again and decide but I just think it would be best with no open back but it's super sunny today it's like 18 degrees and I've got one of my new favorite little tops on this is from Zara and I just love the little scallop detailing I actually got two of these because I thought they'll be a good staple and they've also sold out already so hey so yeah I'm gonna run in and grab a zip I think it's gonna be really busy in town Blech. This vlog is probably completely all over the place. I'm meant to be ordering fabric online right now, but instead I've been distracted with trying to look at last minute holiday deals for our girls' holiday away. Ah, but it's such a stress finding a good, cheap, nice holiday <laughs> for six girls. And then I need to order some fabric, message a few people about photo shoot things and get on with finishing my dress. I've been trying to work on this dress, but the fabric is just making me so angry. <laughs> ah! So I'm taking a break from that and then doing admin this morning and then I'm gonna work on it. So, yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> Very nearly finished this dress, I just need to do something with the cuffs, um, but apart from that, it's done. And so far this is the dress I've had the most love-hate relationship with, and I'm hoping it's going to turn into just a love relationship at some point, but at the moment it's kind of hate. <laughs> so this is what the top part of the dress looks like, and it actually sits really nicely on the back. It's just a part of me that really hates it, I think because I hated making it so much, that's why I hate it, but like little things like in the toile this was completely even and now it's a little bit off and this fabric here, it was cut on the grain and it still goes there and then squiggles off that way and it's just like oh. But the fabric is so hard to work with because it's got like two layers, um, let me find a scrap. So this is the fabric I've been working with and it's super like frayy so as you can see there's like two layers to the fabric so it kind of 
behaves in a tricky way. But I do love the colour of it and how soft it is. It's just so soft. So I've nearly finished making outfit four. I have it on now. I showed you a little sneak peek. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether to show my full outfits yet or not. I think I might wait and do a big reveal at the end. Yeah, I love this fabric so much. It's actually really easy to work with. It's like a laser cut denim on lace. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed making this. I just need to hem it which won't take too long. Yeah, and then tonight I'm gonna try and do some pattern cutting for another outfit. Um, we will see. I just made eye contact with someone across the road. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Mm. Morning guys, so it is Saturday the, Saturday the 13th today and I am waiting in parcels which I don't want to be doing because it's so sunny outside and I just want to go outside but yeah these parcels are possible graduation dresses and I'm going to do a video on like graduation dress ideas because I know I have one friend that was stressing out so much about graduation dresses and then I started stressing a little bit <laughs> can literally be anything um I think there's just so much of a stress about it but I found a few dresses that I think would be so great for graduation and I really can't wait to show you guys also the other day I was making some little bags which I could show you in a minute but they're little bags for my shoes and I had the biggest freak out because I suddenly realized I only had five pairs and not six which we need and I was like I swear I had six pairs and I was just going crazy for like an hour really late at night the other night and then I woke up and I was like oh yeah one's at school because <laughs> we had to hand one pair in for our photo shoot so that's where that one is my brain's just a bit all over the place right now to be honest I'm gonna go home for Easter on Wednesday or Thursday so I have quite a few more days here to just do work get as much done as I can I've been trying to twirl but it's just not been I haven't been in the right headspace because I think I'm really sad that this is coming to an end and I don't want to make my last two outfits because then, then I'm like, oh my god, but that's it. <laughs> so yeah, my hair is super curly today. I put it in twisted braids and it's gone all curly. So I made some little bags that are like drawstring style and my shoes all go in knees. I also made some little mini ones and then I made one in my floral fabric and then this was the dress I made the other day um, and then I tried bleaching the fabric that it comes in and I really like it. I've got eight weeks till my official hand in um, and I've already done four outfits in final. I've got all my shoes, I've got loads of technical like computer stuff to do but I can do it at home when I go home for Easter and then accessories is like the main thing I want to focus on after I've done all the outfits obviously um, and I ordered a massive job lot of old equestrian like horse tack and I'm going to use most of that as like the hardware for the accessories I'm so excited to see how it turns out also used this this morning and I remembered how much I love it 
It's the Aveda Texture Tonic and it's so good. It literally gave me twice the amount of hair. <laughs> Last night I pattern cut a shirt to go under my outfit for outfit five. Um, so I'm gonna go and cut that out in fabric and sew it quickly and then hopefully this afternoon I can go outside and all my parcels will have arrived. <laughs> I'm going into town quickly and this is my outfit. I've got all my new favourite shoes. Look at them. <laughs> I've just been looking through my orders but I'm going to go out. I've got a few to return um, already. This is why fashion videos take me so long because I'm so picky about everything and lots of buying and lots of returning happens. <laughs> Which means awkward encounters with postmen and people thinking I'm a shopaholic at the returns places but it's okay. Um, this jacket is from Depop. Um, this jumper is vintage. This little top is Brandy Melville. Jeans are ASOS and shoes are also ASOS in the sale. And then I've just got this little tote bag on. It's Monday morning and I've just finished filming a graduation outfits ideas video. I filmed it in the living room, which I don't normally do. I have my rail up here already with my twirls and stuff. Um, so I've just been, it's a sneak peek of the dresses. It's probably out already, this video. Yeah, I thought I might as well show you my outfit for filming in have on this little cropped long sleeve jumper from Zara and then these jeans are from Pull and Bear. I'm probably going to import this footage now and try and edit it and just get it up even though it won't be on my usual uploading schedule but hardly ever uploading anyway so this sofa this is so comfy I might go and change my bedding on my bed first because I'm going to be going home soonish and I want to have nice clean sheets when I come home. It looks like I'm always sad if I did that to my eyebrows. <laughs> Got to clean this room up now. Uh, this is not the fun part. I know this next thing is something that people don't normally share <laughs> but as a flat of six girls we're always running out of toilet paper and everyone hates taking it in turns to buy new toilet paper so this way is the fairest way. So this is where we order our loo roll from. It's called Who Gives a Crap? <laughs> we literally all love this stuff. This isn't sponsored. <laughs> this box was £40. Last time we ordered the cheaper box, which is like 36 I think, but these ones come in like more neutral tones and they're so lovely and you just put all of these in your toilet like up on a shelf and they just look so pretty. 50% of the profits go to help building toilets which is amazing. Last year I went out to India with the H&M Foundation and we were looking at places that need toilets building so that's really cool. If you guys live with loads of people and you fight over who, who's buying the toilet roll next then this company is really great. And the shipping is free and it comes really quickly so I literally don't have a bad thing to say about them.
I'm gonna end this vlog here because I've been editing through and I realized how long it is <laughs> and how like all over the place it is I'm so sorry it's like that the next vlog is gonna be basically my final collection so look forward to that one and hopefully it won't be quite as spaced out as this last one was really hope you guys have enjoyed this video leave a comment if you want to i try and get back to them and i will see you guys in my next video bye ah. <laughs>